Guys, welcome back to the Mr. Tux channel. Very excited to share with you guys a quick tutorial video on how you guys can add a Discord overlay to your streams. So when you're playing games like Among Us or Battle Royale like PUBG or Warzone, you guys can show who's in your Discord, who you're playing with. That way it keeps the audience and your viewers a little bit more engaged in the actual gameplay and in Among Us, maybe they can even help you out so that you don't third imposter as much. Let's get into it. Guys, welcome back to the Mr. Tux channel. Today, I got a quick little tutorial video for you guys. I try to put one of these out once a week or so, along with some other videos that are pretty interesting. And if you guys wanna take a look at those, make sure to go check out some of our recent videos on the developments inside the space, the community. Check out our new Twitch Versus video that we just posted on Thursday. Also, we put out a new Among Us video. We're doing a, a new Tux Plays kind of series to the channel, which I think you guys will find pretty freaking hilarious. It's not just stream highlights, it's actual play-by-plays that we're editing through. And I think you guys find it very, very entertaining. But I'm gonna show you something that we use on stream that you guys can use in your games with like any kind of battle royales like PUBG, or this works great for Among Us. And that is linking a voice channel from your Discord and putting it as an overlay in your stream so that your stream can see who's talking, who's in the game, with you in PUBG or Warzone or Fall Guys or most importantly Among Us because Among Us is very difficult to keep track who is who, colors changing, and you're only listening to people's voices. That's why we use it on our stream. It works out really, really well. And it allows everybody to kind of understand what's going on better. So if you guys want that down in the description down below, I'm gonna leave a link to the site. Now what you wanna do is you wanna come over to this site, you wanna click on install for OBS. Now, as soon as you get this, if it's already linked with your Discord, which you should link it up, you're gonna go look for a server. You should pick your server, obviously, or whatever server that you are going to be using. Then you go over to the voice widget, because that is the one that we are going to be using. You have your server click, you have the specific voice channel that you want, and then you can mess around with a little bit of settings, either show speaking users only, which that'll have everybody's talking bu bubble and picture disappear unless they are talking. Or you can just make the avatar smaller. You can hide everybody's name instead. I don't suggest hiding people's name. People want to know who it is, obviously. I don't suggest using the show speaker users only when only people are talking, only because then you just forget who else is in the game or people watching might forget who else is in the game. As long as everybody stays in the game, it'll show everybody whether they're dead or not. And I think it looks better for Among Us. But you can use this differently. It might work better for a battle royale like warzone or PUBG, but it's really really useful to use because then it gives a little bit more context to your stream context to the people you're playing with that way the viewer feels more enveloped in the game feels more in tune in your chat what's going on i think that's much much better for somebody to understand instead of just coming in and watching you snipe people out or just trying to confuse everybody in among us because other people that don't understand the game or don't know the people that you're playing with probably aren't going to understand what you're doing that's my personal suggestion but i think this is an amazing tool you can fix you know the the outline size the 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 text size the colors the background colors the opacity for everything it's a great tool to use it is super simple to set up now what you're going to do after you chose all of your accessories, you're gonna go over to the right where it has the link underneath the picture and it says a browser source in bold over, over top of it. You click on that, it's gonna highlight everything. You right click and copy and then you're gonna bring that over to your Streamlabs OBS or your OBS Studio or OBS Live and you're gonna go to the specific scene that you want. You're gonna add a browser source. Now in this browser source, you are then going to link this link that you just copied over over from the voice widget, plug that in, then you're gonna be able to see everybody that's in the chat, make sure that you are in the chat, try to get one of your friends in there just so that you guys can test it out a bit. For us, it looked like it was a bit too small, so we sized it up a little bit differently so that it fills out the screen a little bit better. People in chat, people watching stream can actually see what the names are, can read them because when you first plug it in, it's really, really, really small. It's pretty hard to see. So I suggest just oversizing it a little bit and then adjusting the overlay over to one of the sides wherever you feel comfortable. And that's pretty much it. There's not much more to it than that. If you wanna do this for multiple different voice channels in a Discord or in just in different Discord, you can do that. 
and what you how you would do that is you're just going to go back to the voice widget you're going to change the voice channel and just copy that link we have a few in our channel and we use a live one we use one for among us we use one for warzone so we copy each of those and we have and i have them set specifically in different scenes so guys just make sure that you have them laid out correctly it's really really simple to use but i'll leave that link down in the discord if you guys want to come see how this works you guys can go check out my twitch we're live every monday wednesday friday most saturdays and if you guys guys ever feel like playing among us with us then you can jump into the discord there's a lot of people that are always playing among us and also call of duty and some other games as well always looking for people some great people in this community a great people in the discord go ahead and join that and also if you ever have any questions you can always hit me up on twitter i'm on that way too much for my own good thank you for stopping by i hope this helps with your streams i hope this helps to allow you guys to make your gameplays a little bit easier more entertaining easier to watch and guys i will see you in the next one until then stay busy Thank you, bro.